So let's start uh, about strings. So strings are basically a sequence of characters. And a string is just another variable, okay? So just remember that strings are sequences of characters and they are just variables. In Python, you can define a string in double quotes or single quotes, okay? So anything that you write in double quotes or single quotes inside a print statement will be thrown out to screen as is, okay? Because if you want to send a string to the screen, you write it in double quotes. If you don't put the quotes, that thing is dealt as a variable, okay? And remember to use matching pair of quotes. If you start with double quotes, end with double. If you start with single, end with single, you cannot mix and match, okay? You can add strings as well. Like we saw in one of the earlier examples, if you put a plus sign between two strings, it will concatenate them, okay? So it will append the second string to the first string. Length of a string is all the uh, characters in the string. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Remember anything inside quotes is considered part of the string, okay? So exclamation is just another character. The computer does not know that world is where the word ends, right? It considers any character part of the string, okay? Concatenation, like I said earlier, if you have one variable defined as Harry, the second variable defined as Morgan, Again, inside quotes, if you write, define a new variable called name, which is first variable plus the second variable, and you try to output that, you will see this thing, Harry Morgan. Because first variable is Harry, the next is Morgan. There is no space in the string, right? So whatever you tell the computer, it will do that. Now let's say you want Harry space Morgan as the name, right? Then you have to explicitly provide the space in your concatenation statement. So you're saying first name, which is Harry, plus a single space inside quotes, plus the last name, which is Morgan. So now when you output this or print this, you will see Harry space Morgan, which is the uh, correct way, okay? Then if you want to repeat a certain character a number of times, you use the star operator or the asterisk. So if you want to print a number of dashes, you say a single dash times 50 it will print or it will make it 50, repeat it 50 times. Then sometimes you may need to convert numbers into strings and vice versa. So how do you do that? Or if you want to convert something into something else, you can cast it. This is called casting, okay? So what, what's balance? Balance is a uh, float dollars are an integer when you say as you define a new variable called balance as string assign it what value balance but cast it as a string so that's what this str command is doing meaning you will see balance as 888.88 but it is defined as a string or casted as a string this one is casted as a string which is again uh, 888. So you will see those values as they are in math, but compiler or the uh, Python stores these variables as string, while this as integer, this as float, okay? And then if you want to convert them or strings into integers or float, you can cast this way, okay? So you cast them int and float inside parentheses and uh, 
this conversion you need sometimes when you take user input but because whenever you ask user to enter anything from the keyboard it is read as a string so if you want to take integers they will be read as string so you cast them down into integers or floats in this manner okay then like i said earlier sequence uh, strings are nothing more than sequence of characters those characters are unicode python uses unicode um, there is something called ascii code as well uh, without going into the details so a string is basically stored uh, in this manner so it is a sequence of characters the sequence start from zero sequence zero and goes on till the string ends so harry is stored in this manner inside uh, the memory or by the compiler so when you say name ha equals harry inside quotes this is what's stored at index zero it's h at index one a and so on so if you want a single character out of a string you can access that by giving the name of the string and square brackets and the index of the character okay so start will be what name zero is h so start equals h last equals name four four is y so last equals y start equals uppercase h and similar to math operations there are many string operations and this slide basically tells you what's the statement what the result and the comment like how it works so please read this i hope you can understand this then similarly for strings there are many methods the ones that are of most concern to us are you can convert a string to an lowercase to an uppercase you can replace a character with a new character um uh, and so on okay so there are many functions so s here is the actual the string let's say if we say name equals harry with an h capital h right so the variable name is h sorry name so you will say name dot lower empty parentheses so name dot lower will convert name into harry with a small h and all the lowercase char uh, characters okay then there is something called an escape sequence escape sequences are used if you want to print a specific character on the screen for instance if you want to uh, print quotes on the screen you will proceed quotes with a single slash so single slash basically tells the compiler or backslash tells the compiler uh, single backslash that whatever the next character is don't read it just just ignore it okay so when you say he said hello with a backslash so this quote will be printed this quote will be printed because these two are preceded by uh, backslash okay the other quotes are used to define that this is all a string while these quotes will be printed on screen similarly for uh, asterisks and if you want to go to a new line you put slash n okay backslash n that means it's a new line should start so whenever the compiler reads this it doesn't print or do anything with it the cursor just goes to the next line if you print this so slash n means so it printed one star then it encountered slash and it went cursor was here it went down here then it printed two cursor was here slash n red cursor comes down okay 